Whoa, guys! Welcome back to the studio! Pooch and company in the house! Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! I know everybody loves you! Alright, guys, welcome back to the studio! Riot aka Bloodshot Airbrushing! Oh, come on up! Come on up! Oh, good boy! Good boy! Oh, yeah! Big hugs! Big hugs! Oh, yeah! All right, welcome back, guys. Oh, all askew here. Just tighten up, tighten up. All right, guys. Oh, no, no I didn't say come up. <laughs> I said tighten up, tighten up. All right, there we go. Much better. All right, guys. I know a lot of you, probably all of you are like, that ain't the dragon. That definitely ain't the dragon. Ryan, where's the dragon? You holding out on us, bro? Are you holding out? Yep, I am. All right, guys. Well, yes and no. As I go, I have to make money, and as I'm making money, well, projects come in, and there are shops that depend on me to get their projects back to them so they can make money, guys. So, we're doing Touch Up Tuesday. Pretty sure it's Sunday. Sounded better if it was a Tuesday. All right, guys. This is a project I did back in 2015. So not too long ago. Um, and he got some chips. A lot of mileage on this bad boy. I'll wet her down so you can kind of see what we're dealing with. Pretty subtle. And it's a Fallen Soldier Memorial to the rider's father. So it's very personal, um, and we gotta do a very good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can see we've got a touch up on the top of the lid. We've got a touch up to the right of the gun, little one by the dog tags, and everything else looks pretty shiny. I did notice a little dot that we got down there. I think it might just be a uh, tiny rock chip, so I'm gonna touch that up while I'm here. And you guys are gonna learn, all right? Why not? You do mistakes, you'll wanna learn how to fix those mistakes, guys. Check it out. All right, guys, as you can see, we're trying out a different angle today. I know I've kinda kicked you guys on my right-hand side, but being as I'm a lefty, maybe you're better over here. Time will tell, let's check it out. All right, guys, so, Luckily for me, or should I say luckily for my client, or probably luckily for both of us guys, I keep every single stencil that I have ever cut. This is 2015 when I did this guys. I still pretty much operate the same way. If I'm working with real life images, I just photocopied a couple images, literally cut the paper with my X-Acto knife, sandwiched them all in so they worked as a group, and then photocopy that so I had something to work with guys it's an easy way to do it if you're not Photoshop savvy or if you're just like me and kind of a Neanderthal and like thunk 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 through the keyboards uh, this is the way to do it guys um, so I've got my outline which will help me with the helmet my outline will help me with my little uh, dog tag down here I will have to go in with some paintbrush and do the detail. I will go in and just touch up the edge of this gun slightly guys and uh, that should be it. Um, I also have the what I would call the positive so I can lay this down and I can get my glow which is going to be blending into fades that are already there so we'll teach you a little bit about that up here as well guys and down here as well. Alright so Oh, and I just noticed there's a little kick right here too, guys, that we'll fix at the same time. Alright, let's get into it. Um, This is going to be overkill, but you guys were doing touch-ups, and this is one of the ways I happen to fix touch-ups. So I figured I'd give it a little bit of a tutorial while I got your guys' attention. Attention! Alright. So, this is just some clear tape. Um, little tip if you haven't already learned it before you uh, put your clear tape back in the drawer, 
just fold that tab on itself. That way it's always easy to find. <laughs> I don't know how many hours I spent digging at these stupid little things. Alright guys, I am just gonna mask out this little painted emblem I have on the helmet. Originally when I did this, I painted the helmet first and then this was stenciled and then hand painted the details. I don't want to get in there and have to hand paint this all over again and I don't want to get overspray on top of it while I'm spraying my helmet. Now I could be very precise with my brush and keep my overspray down, but as you guys are learning, I am teaching. So handy exacto knife number 11 blade is my favorite, it is my sword of choice. Going for some nice light cuts here, guys. And voila! Because it's clear tape, I could see right through it, knew exactly where my lines are. Easy breezy. Alright guys, not to get in your face, but you're hogging my airbrush over there. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna mask out this little uh, corner of the flag so that can be done as well. Look how easy that was to find the edge of my tape there, guys. <laughs> and yet another tip for the brain box, guys. File her on in there. Can you see that? Nope. And now that we got that angle all sorted out, and you're going to have a good laugh at me in a minute for this one, guys. I'm just going in with my blue to cover that dot. Well, guys. Well, well, guys. I really thought that would work. Nope. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with a black. I guess got to get my base black in there. It's just not, that dot is just not going away. So, I guess what I'll do is I'll do black, and then I'll go in with my white, and then I'll go in with my blue, and we'll call this one complete. Real quick lack. Real, real quick lack. And how quick, you ask? Well, let's start this in real time, guys, and you can see. I'm just doing light passes, about three inches away from my piece, maybe a little closer. And I'm just fogging it in, not to get too tight. I don't want to lose everything that's been built up already. I'm just trying to blend out that little tiny dot. Now it's forever gone. All right, guys, just because my black may not be an exact match to this base, um, as you can probably see as the paint's still a little bit wet, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more just so I do get a nice blend into the black. You'd be surprised, guys. Black is not black and white is not white. There are many shades of the two. And blending is how we fool the eye. All right, that's good for me, guys. And now is when you get to have a good chuckle on my account. I hope at least one of you during that whole time, especially when I was down on my knees, was like, why doesn't he just move that up onto his bench? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's better. All right, guys, back in with my white, my pearl white, which is very diluted, very transparent. And because I have it so thin, guys, I am doing crazy light passes, keeping it nice and close up against that tape, going in with the blue to tone it back and blend it in. And that's that. Touch up number one is now all done. Handy little trick, guys. If this was a couple years ago and you weren't exactly too sure what color you used, but you still have your stencil, well, put some of the color you think it is in your brush, spray an area of that stencil, and see if you're getting the same tone throughout. Now I'm using two colors, so let me check if I put a little bit of pearl white over this. If I'm getting the same results. Guys, pretty darn close. And as a good rule of thumb, guys, being as perfection is non-existent and matching paint 
is a great example of that. Uh, you just don't know in a couple of years, the sun's faded it, weathering, it happens. So pretty darn close is a pretty safe bet <laughs> for moving forward. Uh, don't spend too much time trying to get the perfect match because believe me when I say guys, it just doesn't exist. But you can come pretty darn close. <laughs> Alright guys, I know it's something I struggle with guys. You want it to be as good as you can. And that's all you can do guys, is as good as you can. Don't beat yourself up. Don't get discouraged. Color matching is one of those things that will take practice. Almost forgot about that little dude. He's just a little bit darker than my white, so I should be able to cover him up nicely. Grab one of these dudes. All right, peoples. So here I am just going in with my pearl white. I got it a little bit thicker than I had it before. And as I build it up in the one area of my touch up, I am also building it up throughout. And this is a little trick to bypass the perfect match. All right, next up guys, let's do this helmet. Let's do this dog tag and just a little bit of this rifle where we got just a little bit of a uh, overspray from the touch up. Now I'm lining it up, slapping on some magnets and placing it up on the bench. All right guys, now the silver I used on this project it was a custom mix. However, as a good boy scout always is, guys, always be prepared. I don't think this bottle has been opened in two years, two, three years, guys. I can count. And I wrote mix on it. It's a mix a lot. Because I knew there could come a time when I would need this custom mixture again. That time has come. That day is today. And I'm confident, guys, that although there's not a lot of paint in here, <laughs> there's enough. And we're gonna wrap this up real quickly. And I've got that silver nice and thin, guys, so I can build it up slowly, get my silver tones back in there without affecting the details in the surrounding and area. And my custom mixture of my blue purple brown one drop blue one drop purple five drops brown that again i mix in the hundreds of drops of brown and the twenties of drops of blue it's how i count it out see i told you i could count all right guys now i am going in with my dark mixture as i just told you and just getting in my details and definition that got lost with getting the silver mm. back in there what is that? Three touch-ups down, on to the next. Now this one, my handy business card. I've got a straight edge that I want to save, so I'm just going to butt my stencil right up against that edge and lightly mist it with some silver. Then I will go back in with my dark tone and bring it back to match the rest of the piece. Going back in with my stencil, just give me a nice hard to find edge to that rifle. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. I've got some lines in here guys, so I'm just gonna grab this dude that I've cut and use regularly. And this stencil just consists of a variety of different thicknesses of lines, guys, as well as a bunch of different angles, corners, edges, and I use this specifically for sharp edges. Oh yeah. Now you can possibly see I'm getting in with my darks. I know the quality ain't quite there guys, but I'm just kind of blending in the dark lines that I just blasted in there with the stencil. So they're not super sharp. I kind of want this whole thing to be fairly subtle. And silver tones and gray tones is going to achieve that. Uh, and I think we're getting pretty close here guys. 
I'm getting in with my final paintbrush detail on the little dog tag and I'm sure you can't see that but I'm doing a little M.A.S. on that dog tag with some highlights on the chain and on the dog tag itself. I'm gonna also go back in with some darks just to give it some shadows. And I'm just dipping my paintbrush right on into my airbrush cup for some paint. Uh, going back in with just a little bit more dark. I thought that the silver was just a little too bright in my touch-up area, so just toning it down. There you have it, guys. Some effective touch-ups. And hopefully, you can use these along your journey guys becoming an airbrushing master all right guys that's that uh stay tuned the dragon project is next i've got some beginner videos i'm trying to get on down the line guys but again the paying work has got to come first i apologize i'm not leaving you guys hanging keep practicing don't put down that brush just because I'm not here, guys. I will be back. I've also got lots of ideas to improve on the beginner series. And I got a customer here, guys, so I got to roll. Cheers! And be sure to check the comment section of this video and my 2,500 subscriber roll call video for the list of the winners in the sticker contest, guys. And as always, like, follow, subscribe. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Cheers.